What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. Today, we're going to be talking about what's new with the new update. This was an update that was supposed to come out in October, but as you can tell, it's pretty much the ass end of November, so they're a bit late on that. But nevertheless, it's here. Let's go ahead and talk about it. To be honest, it's not really that big of an update. It's actually quite smaller than I thought it was going to be. But I mean, if you look at like their change logs, it seems like they changed quite a bit. So actually, I'm not even sure if I'm able to actually talk about that. But uh, there is a change log, and it's relatively big. But it seems more like quality of life fixes and actual like content per se like there's a lot of fixes and there's a lot of attachments that have been added to the game but we're mostly going to be talking about the big changes i guess but if you would like me to like get real in depth then give me like i don't know 100 likes and i'll make a separate video which is nothing but the attachments that were added to the game let's go ahead and go over them so the first major thing has to do with the hud initially when we first got into the multiplayer the hud was relatively barren like you almost never saw it like in order for you to actually see it you would have had to press a button to open it up but as development has been going on it seems like they keep adding more and more to the front of my screen and to be honest i'm kind of not a fan of actually just like opening it up because the way that they had it before was like you would press three and then use the radio menu to like look around to try to find what you needed and it, it just one of those things that that's a little too long to do you know i actually do prefer seeing it on the screen and then clicking the button to get where i need to go you know but if they can make it like escape from target off where you press a button to show your life signs and stuff like that like have everything fade out and if you want to see something specific like your health signs then you click like a certain like double tap a certain button and that part shows up or if you want to switch out your weapon then the little bottom line shows up you know just like have everything fade out because i don't like to have all that shit on my screen when i'm you know going around but when i want to like look at something then i should be able to like click a button to have it show up again like only when i interact with something specific should it show up like say i want to switch from semi-automatic to fully automatic then that little icon should show up at the bottom for like a slit second and then fade out just to make sure that i actually you know flipped it like that's how i feel it should be but i don't know what are your thoughts i know that i've seen a lot of people in chat saying that it was basically way too much and i do agree that it is kind of a lot but what if they made it so that you could actually just have that stuff fade out and then fade back in if you need it i think that would be a great idea to be honest and if you're someone that actually likes all that stuff on the screen then maybe have the option to just keep it on at all times instead of just fading out i don't know what are your thoughts i kind of like it but i think everything should just fade out in my opinion anyway all right so the next new thing that we're going to be talking about is the menu ui so for those of you that don't know the previous iteration of this ui was not that great the ui was kind of like all over the place and i don't know it was kind of a weird way to like navigate it like you had to use like your scroll wheel to like try to switch your weapons in and out and it just wasn't that great but with this new iteration it seems like they took my advice where i said just leave all the animations that's kind of cool but just put like a box that's off to the side there and just have everything right there and with this addition it really does feel a lot better than the previous one for sure because again it was all over the place and now it's just in this one little box here where you could just simply click and watch the animation go around so all the options have basically been put into this box it's it's pretty nice i like it i don't believe that they actually added anything new well that's not entirely true they did add a bunch of new attachments and also presets so now you're able to actually do what looks like about four presets of the same weapon in case you want to do one that has specific attachments or specific things you know which is pretty nice but aside from that everything is relatively the same they just condense the options down as far as i can tell now they just need to make it seem like this is actually a part of the ui just clean it up a bit oh actually i do have some issues with it though when you're editing your weapon there's a part where it says clean gun it's a great feature don't get me wrong but it's poor placement uh clean gun what does clean gun mean is that gonna like take everything off Fuck! Ugly. Alright, let's go. Fuck! Why is that there? Don't clean the gun. That shouldn't even be a fucking option. Like, that should be, like, somewhere else, not there. That probably shouldn't be right there. Like, you should have the word accept so that you can accept it and then go back to the previous screen and have the clean gun somewhere else because I kept pressing that because I was thinking that it was, like, accept or something because I wanted to go back to the screen. But it turns out that you actually have to press escape as far as I could tell because I didn't see, like, another button there that said that I could go back or anything like that. But, yeah, definitely a lot better than the previous iteration, in my opinion. So that's all I've really got to say about the HUD. I definitely do like it better than the previous one. They just need to change around a few things, namely 
the quartermaster button just to be more seeable that's the right word or noticeable because i didn't actually notice it, the button because it's kind of above and out of the way of the presets and also put the clean button in a different location and have the bottom part say accept so i could go back to the previous screen instead of me having to press escape but yeah aside from that not bad so the hud and the loadout ui was probably the biggest changes to this update now we're gonna get into like the smaller stuff here the most hated mode vip not the most hated but i hated it but thank you all for stopping but oh fucking vip no Oh no! Has gotten a change. So instead of the hostage spawning in, hogtied or handcuffed in the middle of the map where the MLO would spawn, now both teams spawn on different ends of the map and you have to protect the VIP while trying to get him to go from one side to the other side of the map and extract on the other side. I will say that it is an improvement because before the VIP would just literally sit there and do absolutely nothing while everything else is going on around him. Like according to a lot of people, the mode would be great if you actually had a team that knew how to freaking come up and save you but they just didn't whenever i played like i'd be sitting there for like the whole goddamn game doing absolutely nothing just looking at my phone i guess now they give you a pistol which i believe is also a new weapon the 1911 and make you move a little slow but you have to like walk across the map while defending you so i think that's an actual improvement but they should make it so that my guy actually looks like he's heavy because like all i got on is a freaking t-shirt and pants and a 1911 and i'm walking slower than the people that have freaking swat gear on like how does that make sense to me right i don't know i still kind of don't like it to be honest when i first tried it i didn't know what the hell was going on like the game was just ending randomly i think i get what they're trying to do but it just still isn't getting executed in a way that would actually appeal to me or make this mode seem viable i don't know still not a fan of it to be honest but uh yeah overall it's an improvement but i think it still has a long way to go because i'm pretty sure there's a glitch where the vip would just spawn on the other side of the map and just extract right then and there but uh yeah let's move on to the next thing here so along with the 1911 they also also added a brand new rifle the sr16 and i will say that it is pretty devastating this weapon is fucking devastating bro two that i can publicly show you um there's a lot more content that's hidden under nda this fucking weapon is devastating bro just trying to shoot at me okay. Oh, you f***ing... Ah! Ah, he's gonna shoot me! Ah! F*** you, bitch! My leg broke. I like to learn, though. And played it smart. Let's see if we can. Oh, yeah, time. you like that fing nuts in your face, bro. Our group did well and played it smart. Let's see if we can do this. Check it, kick it open. Bitch, get off my- oh. He went downstairs. He went downstairs. He well and played it smart. Let's see if we can do the same next time. The point is, this weapon is devastating. Friendship ended with the scar. My new best friend is the SR-16. This is definitely my meta weapon for the time being. But they are for sure going to be adding in more weapons, hopefully soon. That's pretty much all I got to say about that. Probably one of the last things we're going to talk about is the maps themselves. The maps did change, but a lot of the changes were like very subtle. I noticed that a lot of things were getting added on the outside of the main building. I think the biggest changes were that they actually opened up the back wall 
walls where each team starts, but you can't actually go those ways because it'll turn on a freaking turn back or you'll die within these certain amount of seconds. I was never really a fan of that, but uh, it's in the game now, I guess. There's also been a couple of assets that have been added inside of the building, like big box assets, but really nothing too crazy. I really can't say for sure if they actually edited the shoot house map. And to be honest, I don't think that they really should because it's kind of great the way that it is. Maybe there's just a couple of pathways that kind of go nowhere. Those are kind of annoying, but aside from that, not too crazy. Uh, another thing that I wanted to mention, the flashlight definitely looks a lot better than where it was because before it was just like a little tiny dot. And that's literally all I could see was just that little white dot and nothing else really because everything else was like so dark. But with the new flashlight, it definitely illuminates really well. It illuminates so much that I could actually blind people who have freaking night vision goggles on. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that there's also ray tracing now, apparently. I never really knew how to actually turn the damn thing on. So yeah, that's a thing. If somebody could actually show a video of what the difference is then let me know because i don't even know how to freaking turn it on but uh yeah and that's pretty much it when it comes to the update overall it was okay i guess it's yet another update that doesn't have to do with pve which obviously docks points with a lot of people it obviously came with a lot of bugs the biggest one being that i wasn't able to actually edit my loadouts after the initial starting of the match in the previous update i was able to just press m and look at my loadouts and just edit right then and there and then as soon as i would die i'd come back with that loadout but in this current update you're only able to edit it when you start up the match you aren't able to edit it during the match because the loadout button is actually bugged now i heard that they actually fixed it after i streamed it but who knows i haven't really checked another bug that i encountered was not being able to actually get back into the match after i edited my loadout so i'd be sitting there trying to press resume to see if i could get back into the match and it wouldn't let me so in order for me to actually play it i would have to actually leave the match or wait until the match ends to get into the next match so i can play that but of course i don't want to freaking wait i obviously want to play the damn game so yeah to me that bug was kind of game breaking because i had to turn it off most of the time so yeah it kind of dogs points for me definitely coupled that with a bunch of server disconnects i had one crash i believe but damn if i had a freaking drink for every time that i got disconnected from a game i'd probably have alcohol poisoning oh yeah those disconnects were really bad but overall it's just a eh, update you know i thought it was gonna be bigger but yeah what are, what are your thoughts did this update actually wow you if it did for freaking tell me why actually write an essay i need to know but uh yeah i think i'm gonna end it right here if you enjoyed the fact that i cover games like radio now then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon speaking of patreons chris davis thank you for becoming a patreon he chose the ten dollar tier you are what keeps the dream alive if you're someone that's new to the channel then be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel stick around but with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.